Hi, this is David with RadiationHealthRisks.com here to do another quick uh, radiation uh, test video. What we're going to test today is a couple of Bluetooth earbuds and then the uh, 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 Samsung uh, smartphone. So what we're going to use to test it, sorry for the review for those of you who have seen my other videos, this is a high frequency analyzer, measures up to 2000 microwatts per meter squared of RF or microwave radiation. Um, this model is HF35C. I love it because it measures anything, uh, you're, like you'll see here in a minute, earbuds, the Bluetooth in your car, a smart meter, Wi-Fi, whatever you're worried about, how much radiation it puts off, this will measure it for you. It's not very expensive. Um, anyway, uh, so what we're going to do, uh, hang on just a second. I'm going to turn this on so you can see the difference when it happens. So... I'm gonna let this. Uh, when you first turn one of these meters on, it just kind of goes crazy, and then it calms down to what's in the in the room. So there you go. You can see it's about three, four, five, like that. So I'm gonna set it here, and every once in a while it'll pick up something from, you know, we've got cell towers and other people's Wi-Fi that occasionally you get a little feedback from. My house is pretty, not too bad. So now I want I want you to see this when I turn this on. Just turning it on there, it started going crazy and it's maxing out already. Hadn't even really, so look at there, it's maxing out, hadn't even really started yet. Hopefully you can see that. When it says one like that, it's maxing out. So I just want to, that calms down for a minute and then again, here in a second, it'll kick back up as it's, there you go, maxing out. That's enough. So. What I wanted, the reason I'd like to show you that, now that's without making a call. It puts out a lot more, uh, your typical smartphone puts out a lot more radiation when it's actually making a call. But that, th this, uh, like I said, measures up to 2,000 microwatts per meter squared. So when it maxes out like that, it's getting more than twice the U.S. safety limit, uh, more than 2,000 microwatts uh, blasting. So, um, just, uh, Anyway, we'll talk about that in a second. So I want to try these earbuds here really quick. Notice this little screen. This is kind of a handy thing. I may do a review on it in a while. This is something you can set your cell phone in just so that when it's near you, it blocks most of the radiation. They've got different sizes. Um, so anyways, put that in there. Okay, so we're going to test these earbuds. These are Bluetooth earbuds. Hopefully the battery's charged up enough that... There we go. So you can hear that. And you can see it's not maxing it out, but it's doing like 300. Ooh, 1300 there, 900. I don't know if you can see that. So, and that's without even making a call. That's just having the thing turned on. Both of these things just turned on. Turn that off so we don't get the interference, and we'll turn this off. So, the thing I want you to think about is your ears are a hole in your head. So if you're going to take something and put them in your ears, I'm not saying your skull is a very good filter of radiation, but you don't even have that as a filter between your brain and you just got soft tissue when you stick those things in your ears. Um, and if you there's people that wear those Bluetooths all the time, they got that radiation just as going right in their ears like that. Now, um, when you've got your cell phone like this, holding it to your head, it's the exact same thing. It's, it's uh, just going through your skull and through your ear, it's just right there, uh, pelting you all the time. The best alternative <clears throat> is to get some sort of a, of a, you know, of a, what do they call these things? Uh, head, headphones or whatever. The, uh, the problem with a corded one like this is this cord, when you plug this into the base of your, of your cell phone or smartphone, it acts like an antenna. And literally the radiation will just go right up the antenna, right into your ear. Um, you know, almost as bad or, if, if not, or similar to having a Bluetooth right there. So um, they make what's called a, a, 
uh, air tube headset. If you go to the recommended protections tab on on radiationhealthrisks.com website, I show a couple of models there that I that I like. Um, the, what they are is from your earphones down to this middle part, they're, uh, they're air tubes. Um, they're a little heavier, a little bulkier, but, but you don't have the radiation coming up anywhere near your head. Only problem with them is you still have radiation in the cord down here from the middle where the two come together. Um, and if you're, uh, the radiation, if it's leaning against your body, especially like with a pregnant woman, the you know, it's right there next to your, your, your baby or your own body. So you got that radiation just going right into your body. Um, so whether you get an air tube, again, the, the, the air tube headsets are the best if you can deal with the weight um, or one of these. But you need to get these things called ferrite beads that, go, that you can put on there. They open up and you can wrap it through and put it on the bottom of, like I did here, on the bottom of the cord. You really should have two of them. I've got some more ordered. I've given some of them away. So I've got to get another one. It's better to have a couple of them on here. And you just put them right, right above where it uh, plugs into the phone. And uh, um, that cuts out most of the radiation here. If you have a, a corded one, you'll still have a little bit of radiation making it to your ear. And they say no uh, level of radiation is technically safe but having a couple of these on there sure cuts down most of it. Um, or with the, with the air tubes, you won't have any uh, radiation making it to your head. You'll still have some going by your body. Again, even with an uh, air tube, you're gonna want a couple of ferrite beads down at the bottom. So that's my uh, video, that's my advice, and I hope that's helpful to everybody. And I appreciate it, and thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you in the next video, thanks.